Be Vegan and today's video is a review of the Liquid Foundation from Alima Pure. It's a brand new product that's come out the last couple months and I've been wanting to try it and now that I'm back in the States I ordered some up. I ordered two samples that were the closest to my skin tone from what I could see on the internet and they were Spice and Echo. Um, Echo is a little bit lighter, a little bit more yellow, and Spice is a little bit more of a neutral tone and a little bit darker. So for me, those were the two that were closest to my skin. Um, I just applied the foundation to my face, and I have to say that Spice, which is a little bit darker one, is a better color for my overall face, and Echo, which is the yellow-based one, is better for under eye. I really wanted to... Um, try the concealer, the brand new cream concealer that they have, and I did a big order from them, and I just, it completely slipped my mind. So that'll have to come at another time. Um, but let me first tell you a little bit more about this liquid foundation. The liquid foundation is $42 for the full bottle, but it's great because anything over $30, if you live in the US, is free shipping. So it's free shipping over $30 domestically. Um, if you're outside the US, then obviously it's a different story. But, um, so that's good news. Even if you were to only try the liquid foundation, you would still have free shipping. The liquid foundation includes hyaluronic acid, argan oil, coconut oil, and vitamin E. And those are the things that keep it moisturized, I would imagine, and, and kind of hold it together um, uh, from whatever powder they had it in before. And I do have to say it is quite, um, damp is not the word, but I do feel moisture on my face. It's not sticky, but it's, not powdery. It's somewhere in between sticky and powdery, and I'm okay with that. Actually, I've had this on now for a couple of hours. I don't have anything else on. I didn't put powder on top of it. I didn't put any bronzer on. That's why I look all just one color probably, but for the purposes of this video, that's what I wanted it to be. Um, it actually blends really good into my natural skin tone, which is also pretty nice. Um, it might be a little bit more yellow than my neck because I am in completely direct sunlight, which also was on purpose for this video so that we could really see what it looks like. And what I see is that it, it is a very natural finish, a very light and natural finish. You can still see my skin through it. Um, the website does say that if you want a fuller coverage to apply the concealer first and then apply the liquid foundation and then on top of that put the satin matte foundation on top of it. And I would imagine that gives a very full coverage. Um, but back in the day when I used to do that all the time, those steps don't really bother me because that was what I always did. Concealer, then foundation, then, then powder, and then continue to powder and have like a layer of that thick. Anyways, but for where I am now, um, a light coverage is fine and then I would say throughout the day if I get a little shiny in the T-zone to um, just go over with the pressed powder or with the satin matte foundation. There are 10 shades available, which is not as much as the uh, satin matte foundation, but that's okay. I think that um, the 10 shades really do give an option from very light to dark. The great thing about Lima Pure is that they're completely vegan, they're gluten-free, they don't test on animals, and I feel like they always deliver a product that is as clean as possible. Um, so yeah, these liquid foundations for me have been a great way to test out, but I have to say I'm still very loyal to my Care Weiss and also the um, Satin Matte Foundation in Beige 3 is just such a winner for me. I feel like I would be, with those two as a combination, moving on to the liquid foundation, I feel like I would be losing um, some of that manufactured perfect skin that I get with the, the Care Weiss and the Satin Matte Foundation. So these are not ruled out for me at all. Um, I just think that if I'm gonna pay $42, I'd rather just pay a couple more dollars and get what I know to work personally for me. So let me know down below if you've tried these out. Um, I still think it's phenomenal. I love this company. I think that they're constantly trying to move forward. I love their packaging. I love everything that they stand for. Um, and I think these are just really a great step in the right direction. They really know how to find exact shades for all kinds of skin tones and this is heading in the right direction too. Let me know if you've tried a Lima Pure liquid foundation. Let me know if you've tried the concealer because I want to try it too and let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed and like if you like this video. Bye-bye.